I want you to take a look at this. This is the Orthodox Jewish, actually Yiddish Bible. And um, I want to read from Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 13. My people have committed two sins. They have forsaken me, the, uh, the Makor Ma'im Chaim, the, the, the fountain of living water. And they have dug their own cisterns, broken cisterns that cannot hold water. And you see, in, in ancient Israel, and even today, the, the, the limestone is soft, and they could actually cut uh, a little uh, reservoir for holding water right in the rock. And that's what a cistern is. And there's two problems here. There's the Mikashem in the Tanakh, where uh, the Mashiach's uh, incarnation is uh, left out because of mistranslation of Isaiah 7, 14. And then in the Brit Hadashah, there's this problem with the Heat Hadshut, the regeneration, which is left out. And a classic example of this is this annotated Jewish uh, New Testament. Uh, Psalm, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Romans 9, 6. It says, not all Israelites truly belong to Israel. And in the commentary, it's totally twisted. The guy gets it exactly wrong. But not all those from Israel who are from Israel. But, but are not all those Israel who are from Israel. That's, that's not exactly, that's exactly wrong, what, what the Jewish Greek actually says. You see, Jeremiah, he speaks about his Jewish people. And um, through Jeremiah, God says, they know not me, says the Lord. In other words, they haven't had the heat hot shoot, the messer, the, the moil knife of regeneration of the Ruach HaKodesh. In 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 12, it says, the sons of Eli uh, knew not the Lord. Uh, and then in 1 Samuel 3, 7, Shmuel, the little boy, he didn't yet know the Lord because the word of the Lord had not yet been revealed to him. And our problem today is we have unregenerated people trying to teach us how the Kehillah can grow. They don't have a clue, but because of their uh, fame or their, uh, their well-known well names or whatever, uh, there are all these conferences where these, these unregenerated people are brought in as speakers. Friend, this is this is this is wrong. You gotta you gotta be very careful. Also, we have these unregenerate unregenerate teachers teaching the word, completely twisting the scriptures. Uh, what we need is faithful exposition of the scriptures. And just because you're a professional academic with impressive degrees, that doesn't mean anything, friend, because these are spiritual words that have to be spiritually discerned, spiritually taught to people who are spiritual. Uh, and that's found in 1 Corinthians chapter 2. So what I'm trying to say is uh, be very wary of this book, very wary of it, because um, uh, we, we need to... Uh, avoid interpretive errors. And uh, Jeremiah chapter 8, verse 8 says, How can we say we are wise ones, hachamim, and we have Hashem's Torah, when in actuality the lying pen of the Sopharim, we're talking about um, the Sopher, uh, who explains the Kipe HaKodesh, the scribe, have made it, that is the Kipe HaKodesh, a legan, a, a lie. You see, you can make the word of God a lie by twisting it. And if you twist it, you twist it to your own destruction. So we have two problems. My people have committed two sins. They've left out the uh, Mikashem of the incarnation of the Mashiach in the Tanakh. And they have uh, missed the heat had shoot the regeneration in the breed out of Shah, the classic verse being Romans 9 6 not all uh, uh, not all the physical children of Abraham not all of uh, physical Israel is spiritual people of God because not all have had 
uh, he had shoot and and uh, Yeshua himself said to uh, to the rabbi, "What you're a teacher in Israel and you still don't know this? You must be born again." And, and it, it, this is exactly where uh, there's.